see here. So pulling this up really quick to go through some of this vocabulary ahead of time. Uh, when we speak of Tao, we are speaking of the true telling or history, a teaching narrative. Um, don't like the word myth, doesn't fit. Uh, we've got outta, that's our porcupine, stitzel, our beaver. And uh, sort of reinforcing what we went over last week with our who, what, why, where words. We have go you is a who, go, for what, in da, for when, where, or how, f will go, for why. And we have words that come up quite a bit in this for time markers that you'll see or Zithla. I don't have a barred L, so you'll notice on that that you have the HA next to each other. Uh, Tla, again, that would be a barred LA if, uh, if we were looking at the orthography. Tla na is uh, then when. Vagait uh, man uh, is all the way up when they talk about uh Wagait is is up and then uh uh or or climbing and then uh men is at the up top so that come translates to all the way up and when they're talking about trees and stuff like that you'll hear about climbing up that's where you hear the Wagait Wagait man as uh as Flagaudi. Uh, after they finished, dim is a time marker that is uh, going to, like something that is about to happen. Uh, we talk a lot about this one as, as um, if somebody is, is using it as a, in their statement, it's usually got a, a bit of commitment to it. Uh, it means it's, it's really going to happen um, in here. In this particular Dao, it's uh, uh, less uh, used as a statement and more as a as a time marker. And usually, and you'll see time markers. You'll see sometimes a lot in, or not sometimes, quite a bit in this. Time markers are really interesting words because when you have two words that basically are going to mean the same thing, you see the variation that people use in the sentences. So they're not saying then and then in the same sentence in the same way that we would mix up those words as your storytelling um the and that's one of the things that i really love about these adao is is the we uh, i as a student have spent so much time on vocabulary words that um getting to hear the casual use of them um in story and adao really brings home how they're used. So again, getting back to it, we have tkian or tkiat, and that is uh, coming down. In this story, we have people climbing up things and jumping down. So uh, tkiat and tkian literally break up to like down walking, but in this, uh, it's, it's coming down. Amskanakt. Uh, if you are a student of Shugaina, she, she uses Emskinect uh, uh, quite a bit. And it's, it's a word meaning just a long enough, like just after a while. A good example is when the food is finished cooking because it's been doing it, it's been happening and now it's ready. So um, it's not quite just, a, a, just something being done. It's something that was in a process and is now finished. Uh, Lixta is an uh, island. There's a part where an island comes into play here. And uh, so we have Lixta, Gigulda, or Gigulda, or Gigul. We have, that's our word for like, if you were picking berries, you would say Gigulda, my. Um, or in this case, gugul is to look for food, 
not quite harvest like you found it, but uh, like you're looking for it, looking for berries to pick or, or looking for food to eat. And Satatma um, is to start or begin. A lot of times before a class, you might hear Flatam Satatma. That's when the teacher is saying, we are about to begin. So that said, Flatam Satatma. We're about to begin. I'd like to read you this to Dow. Um, listen for the words that uh, we went over. If you're familiar, if this is your first time in class and you're an absolute beginner, don't worry about it. We're just happy to be sharing with you. And if you have any questions at all, we can definitely go over stuff at the end. Um, the reason that I chose this particular is I, I happened to be reading it and uh, studying it. And then last week when Alfie, uh, when Shagop did the who, what, where, when, why vocabulary, I noticed so much of that that, that falls into place here, even with um, one of the examples for uh, nothing will happen to you. That line is uh, straight up in here and that, that struck a chord and I, I realized like a lot of the who, what, when, where, why vocabulary is, is located within here. So that's why I'd like to share it with you today. So here we go, the myth of the beaver, the porcupine and the beaver. Why, why? The little porcupine coaxed his friend, the beaver, to go into the woods. The hecka to outa dimko to we stole to stole Kilhowley. When they came to a big tree, the porcupine said, I'll show you how I play. Set wa hega we gun to will how to outa dimkunitsu. The little porcupine climbed the big tree all the way to the top. Then the porcupine jumped all the way to the ground. As he fell, he said, into Palag, into Palag. And that means vessels of moss or bag of moss. As she tkiaukt the will hout, into Palag, into Palag. After he landed, he jumped up quickly. Plagaudi ucht the will shall him bat. The porcupine told the beaver to try it and that it felt very nice. The will did gwin bell did we stole adat maska ska amped. The beaver said, I'm afraid I will get hurt. Aska how stole dim squaiska nu dea. No, nothing will happen to you. I'll show you again, said the porcupine. I ain't. Ask a go dim when. Dim kick we need to do the quan. Diasku out The porcupine climbed and jumped again, saying, Into black, into black, on the way down. There will ask again, give Haiskada. Out the degic gust, a howder into black, la dickney, la dick yet. Quick, you try it, said the porcupine. Dean, the dick noon, dia outer. All you do is say into black, into black on the way down. Up dim em hound, into black, into black. Finally, 
the beaver agreed. Emskanax de wilt enach stol. He climbed up the big tree, threw himself off the top, and uttered, into belag, into belag, on the way down. De will ben lagechskeda wigen, de gilkski oid get, in stiwen gen, at a hout, into belag, into belag, platgeoxed. The porcupine was smiling. And he said, into lip lop, into lip lop. Vessel of rocks as the beaver fell. De amonka go out of de hout, into lip lop, into lip lop. Tlatki oxa stole. The beaver hit the ground and was knocked out. Shim ox awis de stole de lak yub de ben caught. The little porcupine said, The beaver's heart is knocked out. The will house do out de ben caught wis de stole. When it was his turn, the beaver wanted to show how he played. Look at deet need. De will hashaga stitstol dim dit gunitsin. Go de willa gumilt. So he told the porcupine to get on his back to take him for a ride in the water. Dat gwin li da out the lak och dim dat de vat de lak ach. At first, the porcupine refused. De will go eins go out, saying he might drown. A hout dim de huilink nu. No, said the beaver. Nothing will happen to you. Ein dias did sto, ask a gold dim wen. You can scratch the back of my neck if you start losing your breath. Dim na gefka bildin. Hakoyu disla sidama dim gaudi nat skilankin stinalkin. So the porcupine got on the beaver's back and the beaver jumped into the lake. The will lakai slakaiskera hakasto stisto. The will lukusha stisto dat simlik da. The beaver dived, and when the porcupine felt like he was drowning, he scratched on the beaver's neck. De will squash get us the stole, a la la widi dim deflinker out of the wilt na gabgavo na hako with the stole. But the beaver would not come up. A la aska gaivin stit stole. When the porcupine was nearly drowned, the beaver took him to an island and left him there. Lana awa dim will dechlingra out the delt de goi de da stitstol de lechta adat kina oit. When the porcupine became alive again, he found out he was on an island and it was getting cold. The adjixum de dusha out a ada wilt will lie lach lick there, will lead the ta slakwatk. He looked for food, but he couldn't find any. Gigul de winea ada asket wet. And he started singing. The will sit a meat. I want to walk below the foot of the mountainside, and my mucus discharge from my nose will become a libre of ice. Why dim give life life scanu na induva will scolsk del gil scoutism 
dal naknelska sku auta. He sang many times sitting on a tree. Hail the limit alida de lachgan. At night, the sky became clear and the ice started to spread on the water. Why la uvo de will can gaudi lacha at a shidamadao lach axe? The porcupine kept on singing. La will alimi outa. The next day, the ice was so thick that the porcupine was able to run across to the mountainside where he came from. At first, the little porcupine was angry. He felt like letting winter cold come ahead of the season. Then he thought, I care too much for my little children, people of the earth. That's why I won't make it extreme cold. Ada will dil koskit gal ship sheep inu guba skuyu. In sikan asken dim anol dim gup guat. Then he sang his other song, which said, Burn up, burn up, burn up all the heavens. De will yada nick kicks de gul limit a hout. Um, a conversation that uh, some of us that are that have been working with these before that is a real conversation or a real common conversation is a uh, what's the moral meaning <laughs> in the umshwa sense of the what's the one lesson that this is all teaching us you know where's the uh the slow and steady wins the race or you know the easy single lesson out of this and uh one of the things i really really enjoy about this is that there's really a lot of different lessons you could pull out of this from trusting your instincts peer pressure <laughs> your friends aren't always your friends uh feelings of rejection and anger you know there's there's quite a bit that you could pull from this and so that's one of the reasons i i really like it is it's not a necessarily nice story but uh it really can uh, uh reflect sometimes how especially when we're young <laughs> how we can treat each other sometimes and uh i just really enjoy it